quick and delicious takeout, and all-inclusive catering needs. First Talk Show with Local information for the greater Hickory Metro. It's First Talk with Hal Rowe, 1290 AM and 102.3 FM. Good morning and welcome to First Talk with Hal Rowe on WHKY Talk Radio for the Greater Hickory Metro. Turn those headphones down. Um, good morning, Vince. How you doing, buddy? Call screener show producer uh, Vince in working hard for us this morning. Um, I'm sorry to bother you with this, Vince, but it looks like somebody, I don't know, I'm going to have to keep an eye on this. Moving these things around in the studio here. Somebody, I think, has come in and decided they know how to balance. Does it sound okay to you? Sounds all right? All right. Maybe it's just my headphones. Someone's come in and decided they know how to make this make this sound better than I do. It's just what you get used to. It's just like, yeah, I was going to say something. Glad I didn't say it. Uh, I had this idea that I was going to talk about this morning. Had it all ready. Had it prepped. Uh, and uh, I heard Rob's news story about Operation Firecracker. Booze it or lose it. And I'd like to hear from you this morning. 828-485-5508. Because I think as we get older, our ideas change. And I, I'd like a little help on this because I don't I don't know what I'd do. I, I started thinking about it. And it's only been a few minutes since that news broadcast. But it really made me think, really made me wonder. Okay, because he said, uh, Rob was talking about uh, law enforcement's going to be out there for the 4th of July. Good. Um, wants local media to help. That would be Rob and other people in the building who know what they're doing because they haven't said anything to me. They're like, we know how. We just leave, you know, <laughs> we'll just pass on him on this one. But let's say that you go to a holiday gathering, Fourth of July party. Everybody's having a good time. You're enjoying some uh, uh, seven bean dip. And, oh, boy, oh, boy, it's good on the Fritos. And you're just having a blast. You're having a good time. And maybe you have an adult beverage or two. You're pacing yourself because you don't want to get out there and, and be driving. And maybe you have one too many. And, you you, you know, you got to give your keys to the wife or to your current significant other and say, you know what? I believe I'm one toke over the line, sweet Jesus. Oh, yeah, there you go. Someone hitting the chronic. Do they still call it that? Somebody's already had a few. A little gin and juice hitting the chronic. Those are such old school terms. But you know what I'm talking about. But they're so... Uh, Yet they're so old school, the kids are like, what's he talking about, Dad? Hey, what's he talking about? Hey, the chronic gin and juice. Well, gin and juice kind of. Anyway, so you're at the party. You're having a good time. You're enjoying your, your seven-layer, uh, your bean dip there. And uh, you, you're, you, you, you hit the chronic maybe or see someone else hit the chronic. Not you. Uh, a little gin and juice. And you see somebody and you know that they're blistered. And you know that they're out of control. And you know that they should not be behind the wheel of a car. Now, let's say this is somebody you know, like a bro, okay, or a sister, I don't know, whatever, a friend, friend. And you know that they've had too much. I've got no problem going up to a buddy of mine saying, dude, you do not need to be behind the wheel of a car. You've had too much. I'm fine. I could drive like this. Yeah, you could drive like this, but uh, how about that other person who's going to be hitting right down the road? And, you know, no, give me the keys. Give your wife the keys. Talk to the host. I got no problem with this because I don't want that person out there. I don't mind talking to the host and saying, look, if you will, you know, follow him home or get somebody else, if you'll follow us home in that car, I'll make sure that I drive him or her home, you know, because I don't want him out on the, on the roads. I got no problem with that. You know, and if somebody gets mad at me, if a friend of mine gets mad at me, so be it. I'm sorry. I, you know, I probably saved you several thousand dollars, you know, by not uh, having a DUI, DWI, whatever they call them now. 
And so I saved you a few thousand dollars. By the way, I want a little bit of that. You can give me, you know, you can buy me lunch next week. And, and, and you know how many people will call you up the next day and go, dude, man, thank you. What did you save on car repair? What did you do by maybe saving someone's life? You know, because they should not be behind the wheel of a car. Okay, so that's your friend. That's your buddy. That's someone you know. You know, it's like, nah, dude, uh-uh, you ain't driving. No, it, you know, I'm an old man. I'm, I don't have the skills I did at one time. But it's going to be go time if you try to get behind the wheel of that car. We're, we're just not going to have it, right? And I, I'm not good at that stuff. I'm not good at confrontations. But no, uh-uh, not getting behind the wheel of the car. So that's somebody I know. Say you're at the party. And there's somebody, it's like their new boyfriend from Charlotte. He's come up. And you can tell this guy's already got a problem. You know, he's, he's, he's drinking way too much. You know, he's hitting the chronic, whatever else he's doing. And he is way gone and should not get. Well, you've got your buddy there, and she's going to have to get in the car with him. And she's like, well, he normally doesn't do this. I don't want to, I don't want to ruin my relationship. What do you do? You know, I've. Again, got no problem talking to the dude, and if he likes gets pushy, do you call and drop a dime on him? Do you call nine one one and say, "Look, this guy is blistered, and he's getting because they're going to pop him, and it's going to cost him some money." And you don't know this guy, and maybe you know he's he's been in trouble with the law before. You know, he could have like two pending DUIs already. What are you going to do? What are you going to do Like when you see somebody in that shape and you know they should not be behind the wheel of the car? 828-485-5508, 828-485-5508. When I was younger, I would absolutely positively say none of my business. Gotten a little bit older. It is definitely my business. I just don't know what to do. You know, I don't want to get the guy in trouble. I don't want to have him call, you know, cost him thousands of dollars. You know, I I don't want to see him go to jail, but I sure don't want him out there on the highway. You know, do I talk to the host? Do I talk to the hostess? Do, you know, I wouldn't even know where a distributor cap in a car is now. It used to be you could do that. You know, take the distributor cap off. You know, maybe punch a hole in his tire. I don't know. I've never done that. That you could prove, right? What do you do? What do you do? Eight two eight four eight five 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 zero eight. Maybe it's something just a little something to think about as you're going into this upcoming holiday week. How do you protect yourself, others on the road? Yeah, man. And you know, I pop a tire. I don't carry a knife anymore that that could do that. Maybe ask the hostess. Do you have a nice sharp butcher knife I could borrow? This is WHKY Hickory, 1290 AM and 102.3 FM. Your news starts right now. Good Tuesday morning. I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY News. Planary, a cloud-based provider serving the apparel industry, has announced it will open an innovation center in the Manufacturing Solutions Center in Conover. The move is intended to place the company in a prime geographic location within the U.S. textiles industry and to underscore the company's commitment to sustainability and technological advancement. Get more details at WHKY. An Alexander County man was charged following a standoff. 54-year-old Henry Arthur Prado of the Ellendale community was arrested Monday by Alexander County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with assault by pointing a gun and communicating threats. He was charged following an incident in which deputies responded to a residence off Caldwell Pond Road at approximately 8 p.m. Sunday. A man was in the dwelling along with a woman and two juveniles. Threats were reportedly made and the man was armed and intoxicated no shots were fired and no injuries were sustained the female and juveniles were allowed to leave the residence prado turned himself into authorities on monday hickory city schools announced the appointment of christy gwynn as the new director of school nutrition whky's ariana max spoke with mrs gwynn in monday's tv news community focus i'm feeling great in my new position um it's exciting 
exciting to be um, the director of school nutrition with Hickory City Schools. Um, I have a lot of new ideas um, for our cafeterias and a lot of professional development ideas for our staff. Mrs. Gwynn brings over 20 years of school nutrition experience and has been the school nutrition supervisor for Hickory City Schools since 2022. All of today's news at WHKY.com. I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY News. Appalachian State University's An Appalachian Summer Festival presents Eastern Music Festival Orchestra with special guest and banjo master Bela Fleck performing Rhapsody in Blue in celebration of the 100th birthday of Gershwin's Classic, Sunday, June 30th at 7 p.m. at the Schaefer Center for the Performing Arts. Get tickets at appsummer.org. Thanks for listening to WHKY Talk Radio, 1290 AM, 102.3 FM. We want to make our on-air contest fun and easy for you. Visit WHKY.com and click on Contest Rules for information. And now for the Dry Otter Weather Report. DryOtterWaterproofing.com, because you ought to get dry. It's clear and 63. Wind is light and variable from the north. Today clear with a high in the low 90s. Wind will be from the north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight clear with a low in the low 70s. Wind will be light and variable from the southeast. Then tomorrow partly cloudy with a high in the upper 90s. Tomorrow night clear with a low in the mid 70s. It's clear and 63. Oh, that's so tranquil. Listen to that creek. It is so peaceful. Peaceful? Are you crazy? This is my basement. Grab a bucket. Start bailing. Dry Otter provides premium crawl space and basement waterproofing to eliminate moisture and mold that can compromise your health and safety. If your basement or crawl space has standing water, wood damage, wet insulation, damaged piers, mold, high humidity, or musty smells, it's time to call a professional. DryOtterWaterproofing.com Because you ought to get dry. The bear. After 80 years of learning his wildfire prevention tips, Smokey Bear lives within us all. Learn more at SmokeyBear.com and remember, only you can prevent wildfires. Brought to you by the USDA Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Listen to On Second Thought with Chuck Boozer, Wednesdays at 9 for It's Hemp Day with Joe Fox from Alpine's Pharmacopia. I learned patience from my adoptive dad. <sighs> all he had to say was, Hey, you got this. Just breathe. Hey. <laughs> hey. We're pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Might have to start a band. <laughs> I got it. Learn about adopting a teen from foster care. You can't imagine the reward. <laughs> Visit AdoptUSKids.org to find out more. This message is brought to you by Adopt US Kids, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, and the Ad Council. Now, through July 1st, 2024, get 1.9% APR financing for 48 months or 2.9% APR financing for 72 months on a new 2024 Outback. See dealer for details. Jim Armstrong Subaru on Highway 70 West in Hickory has lots of different Subaru Outbacks to choose from, so stop by today and talk with the team about getting that Subaru Outback that you've been waiting for. Plus, the Subaru Outback has plenty of standard features you'll enjoy for years to come. Every 20 2024 Subaru Outback is equipped with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive and standard eyesight driver assist technology. Before you buy any new vehicle, you'll want to take the time to read the reviews. Find out about how a new vehicle ranks with the competition, but most importantly about how that vehicle feels when you're behind the wheel. After you do the research and take a test drive, you'll see why so many of your friends and neighbors are driving Subarus. Now through July 1st, 2024, get 1.9% APR financing for 48 months or 2.9% percent APR financing for 72 months on a new 2024 Outback C dealer. For details, Jim Armstrong Subaru, you have a friend in the business.
Good morning. You're listening to First Talk with Hal Rowe on WHKY Talk Radio for the Greater Hickory Metro. Okay, it's time to play Famous Vinces. So it's time for you to call in with your favorite Vince and your famous, your favorite famous Vince. How many famous Vinces do you know? Vince, call screener, show producer. Uh, there's Vince Carter, Sergeant Carter on Gomer Pyle. Uh, let's see here. That's the only one I know. Now, there was Vincent Price. Come on in, Vince. How you doing, buddy? Uh, because, see, with the name Hal, yeah. you got nobody. You got. And, uh, let me ask you if you even have ever heard of these people. You ever heard of Hal Holbrook? No. Okay. Pull that mic up just a little bit. No I, Hal Holbrook. I have not heard of Hal Holbrook. Okay. Uh, Hal Linden. Who's that? Oh. <laughs> See, someone's coming in and messed with these things. I'm, I'm not getting what I need. Okay, so there's no Hal Holbrook. How about Hal the Green Lantern? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't know. remember his last Hal name. Hal Green? How, <laughs> no, I guess Hal Lantern, actually. But Hal G. Lantern, <laughs> Green Lantern. I can't remember his last name. So when you hear the word Vince yeah. and, and, and people, uh, it's Vincent, right? That's right. Okay, so how many people, what other famous, I know Vince Carter, yeah. the Gummer Pile. Did you ever hear that one? Did you yes, yes, I know. Okay, so that that's Vince. So you relate to that because that's not a show that's from your era. You didn't, like, grow up watching Gummer Pile. Yeah, but... It's in the lexicon of. Uh, it's in the lexicon. Very nice. Culture. Okay, now how about Vin Scully? Was he a Vincent? I don't know. I don't know if Vin Scully was a Vincent. Okay, but you're familiar with Vin uh, Scully because you're a sports guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you got Vin Scully. Oh, well, here we go. Here's a big one. Hold on just a second. Okay, all I'm, right, I'm all going right. Vincent, I'm, Vincent Van Gogh. Of course. Probably the most famous yeah. Vincent, right? Okay, yeah. so which, what, what am I mincing? Who, mincing? Well, there's a Vince Vaughn. Oh, yeah, Vince Vaughn, tall guy, Hollywood, uh, plays a bad guy sometimes. Yes, yeah, sometimes. Uh, and and uh, a fine actor. Fine actor. Fine actor. Fine. So there you go, good guy, Vince Vaughn. Okay, I'd like to hang out with him. I think he'd be fun. I'd like to go for a night in Vegas with Vince Vaughn. And then there's the Vincent McMahon. No idea. WWE, the owner. Oh, oh okay. Mm, somewhat of a reference I'm not familiar with. But, I, okay. okay, I got it. I, know, I got the guy. Okay. And then um, Vin Diesel. I don't know if that counts as a Vince, but uh, Vin Diesel. No, nah, we're not no. gonna not no Vin. He doesn't count. Take him out. Okay, no, no Vin. Uh, I'm trying to think of another one. He's uh, off the Vince Council. But but is it is, is his name Vince? I'm not sure. Okay, but, see, unless you got a for sure. I need okay. Yeah, we got to go Vincent. I can't think of anybody else. But hey, there are no songs about Hal. Right? Not that I know. No, it's not like, you know, oh, he's mentioned in a song, you know, your pal Hal with the arch right, roundup. Right, yes. Right, okay, so there you go. So I <laughs> now I truly have the kick of all being <laughs> uh, because I was mentioned in the arts roundup song. That's right. But you've got a song named after you, man. Yeah, that's, it's a sad song. It's a well, very, yeah, yeah. Or it, a it, melancholy it's song. It's a beautiful song. It's it really is. Song. It really is. It's very. It's about Vincent Van Gogh. Help me with the artist. Uh, Don McLean. Don McLean. Who wrote American yeah. Pie. And it was, oh, Vincent was on that album, and I think that's how it got the airplay. I'm not so sure anybody would have, you know, selected that song, but I think people heard it. It was like, this is a really good song. The world was never meant for anyone as beautiful as you. I'm not going to sing it because that would really be hurting that song's <laughs> cred credibility right, right. but yeah so you got a song named after you yeah so that's cool. pretty good and vincent price vincent price yes right and, and so that would i don't think anybody ever called him vince no he was a vincent he was a vincent and most yeah. people were like mr price i'm sure right right it wasn't like hey Vinny, <laughs> come over here got a horror movie script i want you to look at yeah so that's a pretty good variety of vinces yeah there's a lot of vinces yep if you really think about it yep uh, um, more than you would. Oh, uh, getting a call? Uh, well, no, I think that's the door. Oh, that's the door. Okay. Yeah, somebody probably here to, to I visit. Oh, it's a Vince. Yep. Uh, no, it's not. Not, not a Vince. There you go, Vince. All right. Uh, call screener, show producer, Vince. Uh, maybe you were lucky enough. I wonder if Vince ever had one of those license plates, the license plates that goes on your bike. I am 64 years old, still got a resentment against whoever did not put my name on the little license plate on the bike. Because all, all I ever wanted was a personalized plate. Because like all the other guys in the neighborhood, like there was Dave and Steve, and I think even Jan, she had a, uh, oh, it was a phone call. 
Yes. Oh, oh, so did we miss a good Vince? Yes. Kevin called in. He wanted to remind us of Vince Lombardi. Oh! How did we miss it? Oh! Vince Lombardi. How do we miss that one? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So that was Kevin who called in? That was Kevin who called. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. That's a great Vince right there. That is one of the best. One of the best. No doubt about it. Vince Lombardi. Yeah, he's up there with Van Gogh, I think. On the Vince Council. Why didn't they just call him the Van Gogh of football? Oh, my gosh. You should get into uh, marketing. <laughs> no, they tell me to stay away from that. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I, that's I, was, right. I, I, did, that for, I did that for a while. They were like, uh, <laughs> nah, nah no, just, I mean, just go ahead. Do, do that thing on the radio. That's right. We, we, don't, need you. we don't need your help here. Yeah, right. uh, yeah, but there you go. The Van Gogh of football. Vince. Vince Lombardi. Vince Lombardi. Thank you, Kevin. And what a great name, too. And that's uh, and Vincent. I'm trying to think of any other. Of course, we've said Van Gogh. But I was trying to think of because it, it lends itself to, and I'm thinking Lombardi, probably Italian. I don't know. But it lends itself to it's that type. Be, yeah, yeah uh, Lombardi sounds, you know, doesn't sound German. No, it doesn't. Doesn't sound Swiss. <laughs> Should we go through all of them? No. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't sound Middle Eastern. No, doesn't. Doesn't sound Asian. Not really. Not really. Not really. So, yeah, Vince Lombardi. So, there you go. All right. So, lots of great Vinces out there. But we got the number one right here <laughs> oh, in the no, studio stop. right here Hold this morning. Applause. Vince G. There you go. Thank you. Kind of want to use your name on the air because, you know, it's like we know your birthday and stuff. And, you know, maybe it, we've met your mom, too. So, you know, yeah. it's like what's your mother's name? You got your password there. Yeah. Your mom's name and your birthday. Day. I'm not saying her maiden name. Okay. Or my first dog. Or my first, you know. <laughs> first dog. Do you, you know, you it's really, always like, yeah, who was your first dog? Who was your first dog? <laughs> I got no idea. And then it was like, oh, wait, we had that dog before. Is that the one? You know. And then, like, you know, when it asks for your school. Yeah. You know, what's your first, what's your elementary school? Well, do you put, like, you know, Bill Smith's elementary yeah. You know, I mean, what's you, embarrassing is when you get the question wrong. <laughs> they ask you that question, you're like, but that is my first elementary school. And then you look it up, you're like, oh, I was wrong. You know, they right. say one of the things that you can remember and one of the best things that you can remember and use for passwords and codes and things like that if you're trying to is your childhood phone number. Oh. Your child, your very first phone number, because mom taught you that phone number. If you ever get in trouble, you know, I think in, in my days it was pre 911. We didn't have 911. We just holler, help! Let me ask you a question. Sure. Did you have a lunch number? A lunch number? A lunch number. No. Yeah, we had lunch numbers where they'd say, what's your lunch number? It had our account on it oh. in elementary school. And, yeah. and this was to keep uh, other kids from being embarrassed if they were on free or reduced. Right, right. Right, right. because it, it's not like, hey, this kid over here is going to, hey, here's a free lunch kid. <laughs> right, you know, oh, that's a little bit. Everybody just put in their, you know, they told the uh, lady their number. Right. Or man. Right. Uh, it's usually a lunch lady. Yeah, usually a lunch lady. So and then so no, I didn't have a lunch number. Okay. okay. Yeah, uh, I, I, I used my family's American Express card. <laughs> put a little something on there for you, Doris. Since they're the holidays, put, put a little something on there I, for yourself. I paid with my gold bar. I just put it on <laughs> lunch yeah, lady. Shave, shave off a little bit of the gold bar there, Doris. Eh, take good care. I brought my own truffles. <laughs> oh. Vincent. All right. All right. Celebrations? We don't have time. We don't have time? That's oh, the okay. theme music. And up next, Newton Conover Schools. Celebrations and commemorations. Well, let me throw one at you here. Uh, hold on just a second. Celebrations and commemorations. All right. Hold on. I was right here at it. Uh, trying to save printer paper. Throw one out here at you. It's National Vince Day. No, it's Leon Day, actually. It's Leon Day. Dale Earnhardt Chevrolet has a pedigree in racing because of their founder, Dale Earnhardt. Hey, this is Chuck Boozer. He was all about the small-town blue-collar worker, and they still maintain those values today at Dale Earnhardt Chevrolet. They believe in being honest, straightforward, no bait-and-switch, not a lot of add-ons at the end of the deal. It's the way business used to be done. It's the way business is done today at Dale Earnhardt Chevrolet. Together, let's drive. Come by and see us and find out why people are buying from Dale Earnhardt Chevrolet. Or go to EarnhardtChevy.com. I'm Rob Eastwood with a local news update from WHKY. 
Flannery, a cloud-based provider serving the apparel industry, has announced it will open an innovation center in the Manufacturing Solutions Center in Conover. Get full details on this at whky.com. An Alexander County man was charged following a standoff. 54-year-old Henry Arthur Prado of the Ellendale community was arrested Monday by Alexander County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with assault by pointing a gun and communicating threats. He was charged following an incident in which deputies responded to a residence off Caldwell Pond Road in Ellendale at approximately 8 p.m. Sunday. A man was in the dwelling along with a woman and two juveniles. No shots were fired. No injuries were sustained. The female and juveniles were allowed to leave the residence. Prado turned himself into authorities on Monday. More details and the rest of today's news at whky.com. I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY News. Did you receive a call or message that mentioned Social Security and demanded immediate action? Did the caller know your Social Security number or other personal information and tell you that your Social Security number had been used in connection with the crime? Did you feel worried that your Social Security number might be suspended, your bank account might be frozen or seized, or you could be arrested? That is not the Social Security Administration. Social Security will not threaten you, demand your personal information or instant payment, email or text you pictures or documents, or use a real government official's name to gain your trust. Social Security does not accept payments by gift card, prepaid debit card, internet currency, or by mailing cash. Criminals use these forms of payment because they are hard to trace. Do not be fooled. Hang up. Ignore them. Report this criminal activity to the Social Security Administration Office of the Inspector General at oig.ssa.gov. Produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. Whether you hope to build a stronger marriage, a better career, or children of character, the key is to catch a vision for what could be. In 1850, a Pittsburgh businessman named Colonel James Anderson decided to help young people further their education. To do that, he opened his personal library of almost 400 books to the community. Every Saturday afternoon, boys throughout the neighborhood were encouraged to stop by and borrow a book. One of the kids who routinely showed up was a 15-year-old year old Scottish boy named Andrew Carnegie. A voracious reader, books opened his mind to new ideas and taught him to see possibility where none seemed to exist. After the Civil War, for example, Carnegie began investing in steel production when he saw how important the material would be for constructing railroads and bridges. Within a few years, as the nation expanded westward, the immigrant boy who once earned a dollar twenty a day built a steel company worth hundreds of billions of dollars in today's money. Colonel Anderson and Andrew Carnegie both imagined what someday could be, even though it didn't exist yet. Because they could see beyond, they changed the world. And so can you. A thriving marriage, children of character, a better career. Whatever you hope to achieve, learn to see possibility where none seems to exist. Then go create it. For more to help you thrive, go to FocusOnTheFamily.com. I'm Jim Daly. The words you are about to hear are taken from letters sent in by members of the Trinity Debt Management Program. Dear Trinity, today I'm making my final credit card payment. Before I came to you, I was in a constant state of anxiety and panic, but now there is hope for my family's financial future. Working with Trinity made me understand that I'm not alone. You really do help people. Your kindness will never be forgotten. Without Trinity's support, I would not have achieved my lifelong goal of becoming debt-free. We saved a lot on interest and penalties, of course, but the reward was the gift of human kindness. Trinity has carried me through a very difficult time in my life. You're amazing. I used to feel so anxious and hopeless. Now I feel grace and peace. God bless Trinity as you continue to help others become debt-free. If credit card debt has you down, call Trinity at 1-800-990-6976. That's 1-800-990-6976. I'm Hal Rua. First talk, my phone and my phone service come to me through Carolina West Wireless. Would not use anybody else. You know, uh, heaven forbid, they should uh, tell me, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure working with you. We'd like you to pack your things, and I'm out of here. Guess what? I'm still going to use Carolina West Wireless. You know, I started using Carolina West Wireless here at the station several years back. They have given me excellent service, excellent customer service. 
Anything I ever need, I can stop by the store and other folks. I hope you'll get that feel, too. But you know what else? They've got everything that the big box stores have. They've got wonderful pricing, wonderful plans, and all the equipment, everything that you would want as far as phones, tablets. Carolina West Wireless really is a wonderful place to do business, and it is a North Carolina company. Right now, Carolina West Wireless offering special discounts for those of us who are 55 and older. Two lines, unlimited talk and text, five gigs of data, only $30 per month for both lines. Carolina West Wireless. KY Talk Radio, 1290 AM and 102.3 FM. Good morning. You're listening to First Talk with Hal Rowe on WHKY Talk Radio for the Greater Hickory Metro. Um, Let's go ahead, Vince, as we wait for a call. No, we're not waiting that long. We're just uh, just hanging out. How about that? I'm not uh, waiting on a lady. I'm just uh, waiting on a friend. Let's uh, cover the celebrations and commemorations for the, uh, the month of June. Today is the 25th. If you don't believe me, look at your phone. Today is Bourdain Day. I wonder if that's... It's got to be Anthony Bourdain, right? Gosh, what a what a sad situation there. Yeah, somebody's... Somebody's got the high end on this up. It's got a lot more high end in it this morning. Um, Anthony Bourdain Day. What a sad situation there. Did you ever watch that cat, Vince? Did you ever watch Anthony Bourdain on TV? Yes. Uh, we can pull that up a little bit. Yeah, don't don't right. lean down. There you go. Just tug on that thing. There you go. His culinary show, yeah, I thought it was excellent. Yeah, and such a sad Sad situation uh, when when he you know he took his own life so depression yeah. things like that and I always encourage people because I've had people I've lost people to suicide in my life and I always say you know if you're if you're feeling that way if you're feeling like hurting yourself or somebody else talk to somebody I mean you know absolutely, absolutely. It, it just it's yeah. it's just no no sense I just hate it hate it for people who are in that situation and feel like that's the way out. It is the day of the seafarer. Arr. Uh, I always thought I'd be a good seafarer. Have, do you ever feel like you maybe uh, in a past life were like either? I don't know what it may be for you. Was it a pirate? Was it a, uh, I don't know, an author, a poet? Do you feel like it? Because I feel for some reason like I've lived in New Orleans in a past life. Okay. Because I love New Orleans, the smell, the attitude. It's just I love New Orleans. And there's no reason to, really. So, you know, there's no real, I don't have any relatives there. I haven't visited a lot. I don't have any desire to live there today, but for some reason. You got a connection to I it. I got a connection. I don't know what it is. Yeah. But also, I feel like I may have been a seafarer, a son of a son of a sailor in a past life somewhere. Mm-hmm. I love the water. I love being out on the water. I love sailing. I love boats. I love all that. But, you know, I don't do enough of it. I'm not drawn to it, but for some reason, I feel like I may have done it. How about you? Um... Seriously, now I know that because I'm telling your eye there was comedy coming. I was going to say something silly, right? But no, but, ser- in, in all seriousness, um, I I can't recall. I would, you don't feel like I don't feel calling. Maybe yeah. I was like an animal or something. Okay, yeah. good yeah. animal spirit. There you go. Uh, it's Global Beatles Day. Were you a Beatles fan growing up? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I love the Beatles. Okay, the, and most people do. Global Beatles. It's Leon Day. And I'm oh, not going to go into famous Leons this morning. Okay. We used to have a time temperature guy here named Leon. Oh, yeah? And, uh, yeah, he drank. Oh. And he's no longer with us. I don't, I don't even know if Leon's still with us at all. But we'd call on Leon, and he would give us the time and the temperature. Did you ever call the time and temperature line when you were growing up? No, I didn't I didn't even know that was a thing. Really? I, no, I'm serious, yeah. 
No, there was a number that you could call. That could have been a convinced Vince. Uh, there was a number that you could call. How do you know it's not? How do you know that I just didn't put <laughs> oh that right gosh. in there? Uh, there was. A, do you believe that there was a phone number where you could call and get the time and temperature? You just asked what the temperature is? No, it, it was a recording. It was a recording. Okay. Yeah, here in Hickory, I think it was 327-1234. Wow. And you'd call, and it would say, the time is... Oh, look at the clock over. The time is... 7.40. It just clicked over. Yeah. The time is 7.40, and the temperature is way too hot. Now, it would actually give you the temperature. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that really, I, I can't do a convinced Vince. Somebody told me I should have used the time and temperature. To, but you actually would pick up the phone to find out what the time was. Wow. In case the sundial was broken. <laughs> yeah, the sundial was broken. Back, back in our no, day. What time is it? Yeah, that sundial, are we on daylight saving? But, yeah, you would call and get the time and the temperature. I don't know why. <laughs> But it was sponsored by people. You, you know, what time is it? I'll pick up the phone and call. Yeah, and you didn't like ask. There you go. And we're getting a call. So much. So much. What time is it? Yeah, they're going to ask us. Does anybody really know what time it is? Does anybody really care? And the uh, the temperature. But yeah, that's that's an actual thing. And if it is somebody who's called, the, I think it was one two three four. But yeah, there was a time and temperature line here in uh, in Hickory, and 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 when I was growing up in Roanoke as well. I think it was, I don't know why people just picked up the phone and, I guess it was to set your watch in the morning. Maybe you'd wake up and say, yeah, I need to set my watch. I wonder what time it is. Uh, Let's see here. Uh, Leon Day. Mitch Lane Day. No idea. Oh, oh, Leon, just real quick. Who's the Leon that you know? Leon Russell. Right. Vince is answering the door now, so that's good. We got our our, our guest coming in, so that's a good thing. All right, so Mitch Lane Day. No idea who Mitch Lane is. National Catfish Day. Now, this could be uh, this is, could be something online. From what I understand, a uh, catfishing online, it's like you uh, you say that you're somebody. It would be like me putting a picture of well, just about anybody <laughs> else other than me uh, online, and they say, uh, "Darn that Hal Rowe, he's a, he's a good looking guy." And if I was single, they may I may say, uh, "Yeah, I'm a single guy, and I'm a, a underwear model." And uh, and they w- might want to uh, connect with me online, and then they meet me. They go, "Oh, you're no underwear bottle, and that's not your picture online." Uh, I got catfished. Is that about right? Is that being catfished? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think Pretty so? Pretty close. Yeah, you've got the idea of me being an underwear model. I, I just want to move on. I just want to move on. Can we move on, please? please? Can we please move on? Let's move on. Oh, real quick, Larry called in. Yeah. He said the reason you remember that number. Yeah. Is because it was Fat Lip One. When you the number when you spelled it out, so I didn't remember that. You didn't remember that. No, fat, fat lip one. That's how Larry remembered it. Huh? Yeah, yeah Larry's a fighting guy. <laughs> hey, I'll give you a fat lip if you don't remember this. Hey, I'm a, I'm a fat, lip, fat lip, bub, bub, <laughs> bub. National Catfish Day. Now, uh, this could be also just the actual catfish. Oh, it, that's probably what it is. Uh, like a salt and pepper catfish fillet. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they're saying go out and lie on the internet and then show up as a different person for a national holiday. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> you never know today. But probably not. Yeah, catfish somebody today. Uh, National Columnist Day. Do you have any idea? Did you ever read a columnist glowing, uh, growing up in, in the newspaper? Oh, there was Sidney Green. There were That was the one that I think of immediately. Uh, there was, uh, I'm trying to think of the guy's name who wrote um, Shoot Low Boys, They're Riding Shetland Ponies. Uh, Elvis is dead. I don't feel so good myself. Big Southern writer. Tommy Luckadoo would know this one because I think he's enjoyed this guy's work. But he was a columnist for the Atlanta Journal. Uh, the guy who writes the um, – oh, this is horrible. You get to be my age. I'm trying to think of old columnist name. Right, right. But uh, he wrote Downhill Like – anyway. Famous columnist. They used to write in the paper and they would write a column. Okay, so they're, they would have their certain opinion. They would have their opinion. They would have a column. Very similar to what I do here on the air, but they would they would put it in the paper every day, and everyone would look for Cindy Green. They would look for oh my goodness, this is embarrassing. I can't even remember those other two, but I'll think of them during the break, or I'll Google them, or give us a call, or give us a call. That's the way to do it. Hey, way to go, Vince. This is that's what we do. Why Hickory, twelve ninety a.m. and one hundred two point three FM. Your news starts right now.
Good Tuesday morning. I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY News. A Conover man is charged with assault, firearm, and robbery offenses. 24-year-old Tony Ray Kirkland was arrested by Hickory Police. He's charged with assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill, inflicting serious injury, possession of a firearm by a felon, and robbery with a dangerous weapon. Kirkland was placed in the Catawba County Detention Facility this morning. Under no bond, a district court date was scheduled today. Day. A Hickory woman is charged with multiple offenses. 33-year-old Samantha Marie Vano was arrested by Hickory police. She's charged with possession of a firearm by a felon, aid and abet armed robbery, and alter, steal, or destroy criminal evidence. Vano is a felon as a result of multiple convictions dating back to 2015 in Alexander and Iredell counties. She was incarcerated in the Catawba County Detention Facility this morning without bond. A district court date was scheduled today. The Alexander County Board of Elections was recently named one of only 32 programs nationwide to earn a Clearinghouse Award from the U.S. Election Assistance Commission. The awards program celebrates the hard work of election offices across the country for programs in 2023. Winning jurisdictions range from counties with 25,000 registered voters to states with over 7 million. The Alexander County Board of elections was an award winner in the Distinguished Voter Education and Communication Initiatives category with its Inside Election Administration article series. The article series was a collaboration with a local publication to feature a monthly newspaper column explaining various aspects of elections administration. Follow us on Facebook, X, Instagram, and LinkedIn and get the rest of today's news at WHKY.com. I'm Rob Eastwood, W. HKY News. Now for the Dry Otter Weather Report. Dryotterwaterproofing.com because you ought to get dry. It's clear and 68. Wind is from the north northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Today clear with a high in the low 90s. Wind will be from the north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight clear with a low in the low 70s. Wind will be light and variable from the southeast. Then tomorrow partly cloudy with a high in the upper 90s. Tomorrow night clear with the low in the mid 70s. It's clear and 68. Oh, that's so tranquil. Listen to that creek. It is so peaceful. Peaceful? Are you crazy? This is my basement. Grab a bucket. Start bailing. Dry Otter provides premium crawl space and basement waterproofing to eliminate moisture and mold that can compromise your health and safety. If your basement or crawl space has standing water, wood damage, wet insulation, damaged piers, mold, high humidity, or musty smells, it's time to call a professional. DryOtterWaterproofing.com Because you ought to get dry. In American Legion baseball action from last night, Caldwell County, post-29, picked up an 11-1 win over Queen City. Now, that may have been the only game from last night, but tonight, plenty of games. In fact, all three of our area teams will be in action. Caldwell will be on the road, taking on Burke County, post-21. Hickory is on the road as well. Post-48 will travel to Gastonia. Back at the high school level, Hickory High and East Burke both finished in the top 10 of the Wells Fargo Cup in their respective classifications. The North Carolina High School Athletic Association, in conjunction with Wells Fargo, announces the award that recognizes the high schools that achieved the best overall interscholastic athletic performance within each of the state's four competitive classifications. Now in the 2A class, East Burke finished in 10th place with 195 total points. Seaforth was the winner with 527.5. In the 3A class, Hickory finished in 8th place with 275 points. Croatan was the winner with 520 points. You can find much more online at our website, whky.com. I was in downtown Hickory yesterday afternoon visiting a buddy of mine. And when I pulled up to the place, it was one of these big buildings in downtown Hickory. And there was a huge air conditioning unit outside. I got in the building. The air conditioning had gone out. Can you imagine 
what that would be like in a huge building. How about the people who know how to fix that? Don't you know that folks who are working on HVAC right now are doing well? Well, of course they are. Call Dad. What a great company because they figured out, hey, I like that hometown repair knowledge and customer service, but also don't have to wait two weeks for my buddy to show up. They have got a great plan where they train you in HVAC. You learn things like train mathematics, basic electricity, heat transfer, equipment operation, all these things, and you don't need a great prerequisite to get into their classes. Dad, you. So call Dad. That's call Dad. Go to the resources tab. Call Dad.com. Go to the resources tab and find out when the next Call Dad University starts registration. Wonderful career opportunity. Call Dad University. Good morning. You're listening to First Talk with Hal Rowe on WHKY Talk Radio for the Greater Hickory Metro. Eh, we're a little bit older. We're like your granddaddy's Buick. It'll get you there. It'll get you there. Air blows cold. Tires are good. It'll get you there. Um, I remembered the names of the guys. And I, I, Vince had the phone in his hand. I said, don't tell me. I got Louis Grizzard pretty quick. Uh, shoot low, boys. They're riding Shetland ponies. Elvis is dead. Don't feel so good myself. Louis Grizzard there. The one I had a little bit more problem with was Carl Hyacin, who has written a great a lot of great books about Florida, South Florida specifically. And uh was a columnist for um the Miami Herald, I believe. All right, moving on to other celebrations and commemorations for today and for the month. Uh National Strawberry Parfait Day. Whenever I think of a parfait now. Where does your mind go? When I was a kid, I thought about a parfait, and now it goes to Donke in in um, the movie with a big, big green ogre. Why am I not hitting on these today? If I, if I've had enough sleep. Uh, not Gretsch, Rex. Okay, um, I'll, I'll think of it. Mike Myers did the voice. Cameron Diaz did the uh, Streck. There we go. Thank you very much. Uh, I always think of Donke. And uh, he's always talking about the strawberry parfait. Eddie Murphy, what a great talent. Uh, school prayer band anniversary. Best bumper sticker, one of the best bumper stickers I ever saw. Um, as long as there are tests in school, there will be prayer in school. Also saw, was it a guy in Alabama, maybe, or Tennessee? Wants the Ten Commandments up in the, um, up in the school. In every school classroom... He wants the Ten Commandments to be displayed. I think there's a better sign. No phones. That's just me. Statehood Day in Virginia. Carry me back to old Virginia. Um, That used to be the state song way, way back when. Uh, Probably not politically correct, but I can't remember why. But there's something in there that's uh, obviously not politically correct. Still love the state of Virginia. Probably a good idea. That's no longer the state song. If it hurt anybody's feelings, we don't want to do that. And uh, this uh, tomorrow is Beautician's Day and Forgiveness Day. So put those two together and forgive your beautician for that really lousy job they did that time when it was so important that you got everything right. Real quick, I went to a uh, a barber in Virginia. A buddy of mine was getting married, and I cut to, looked a little shaggy. Looked a little shaggy. Need, need a little uh, need a little clean up there, and. Uh, Ne- just never go to an out of town barber. This guy basically just really it was horrible. They should have been paying attention to the bride at the wedding. Instead, they were paying attention to my haircut. It was like, dude, that's like one of the worst haircuts I've I've ever seen in my life. I was like, yeah, I went to this barber on Brambleton Road. They were like, oh no, you <laughs> you didn't go to him, did you? Oh my goodness! And uh, he was the singing barber. He had cassette tapes for sale. And uh, he, he played these cassettes while you were having your your <laughs> right hand up to God. True story. That he played these cassettes while you were having your hair cut, and he would kind of sing along a little bit as you were as you were having your hair cut. Uh, the guy was a darn fine singer, not much of a barber. All right, let's see here. A monthly holidays and observances, and we've done some of these. We've done the adopt a cat, adopt a shelter cat, 
Um, oh, here's one that we, we did not do. Aquarium month. Where You know, they used to have aquariums around a lot, like when I was a kid, and you go to the doctor's office, there was always an aquarium in there. And someone made their money going around to aquariums and making sure they were nice. There was one here in town that had a beautiful hunk of coral reef in there. Audiobook Appreciation Month. Uh, Black Music Month. Well, isn't every month Black Music Month? Let's face it, man, some great music out there. And gosh, why do we why do we have to do that? We have to have white music, black music, country music. Uh, you know, black music month. It's, it's good music. It's just good music. Cancer from the Sun Month. Now we did have and we will have a um doctor come in and and talk about um a dermatologist come in and talk about cancer from the sun. I went out and got some sunscreen the other day. Actually, my wife was kind enough to buy it for me. Thank you, honey. Appreciate it if you're listening this morning. And I got some of the good stuff because she was buying. Let's face it. With me, I'd get like Bill's sunscreen, you know. Uh, But uh, in this case, I got the good stuff. The Neutrogena Dry Feel. It was a 70. Man, if I can. And they say not, you know, they say like over a 50. Doesn't make that big. Like 100 totally blocks the sun. You know what they call that? They call that a shack. Get in out of the sun. Um, but cancer from the uh, sun month. You got to watch that, man. I, and I got this little place up here on my head. Now everybody's going to be like looking at me today. It's like, where's this place on your head? Let me take a look. The uh, the doctors all said it's okay. But I got to watch that. Watch your ears. Watch your nose. When you get out there, <clears throat> slather up, man. Slather up. Because you don't want to be getting no cancer from the sun. Nothing is wrong with uh, getting some sun and some vitamin D and a nice, rich uh, t- Some people say don't ever tan. It's just not, you know, and uh, these alabaster women who just, like, never get out in the sun. That was a sign of real uh, stature back in the day. If a woman didn't have any sun at all, that meant she didn't have to go out in the sun. Or she had the proper millinery to, to you know, to be shaded from the sun. So that, uh, but a deep, dark tan. Boy, when I was growing up, you don't know what they used to, you know what they used to do? They used to sell oil to amplify the sun. It's like if you're not if you're laying out in the sun and you're not getting enough sun already, here's some oil. Cancer in a bottle, right? Is that is that what it is? I know a couple of people who have uh, not done well with cancer from the sun. Nothing wrong with getting some vitamin D, and that with being out in the. It's just like anything else, you know. Nothing wrong with having a little bourbon in the evening, a fifth of night. Probably not a good idea. Uh, getting a little suntan, not too bad, especially if you're out playing golf, moving around. Lying in the sun with oil on you, eh, probably not really the best idea. Cataract Awareness Month. If you're having your uh, annual eye checkup, doctor will tell you a little bit about that. Celibi, celibacy Awareness Month. We'll just move right on from there. There's a lot of things I could say about that. We're just going to move right on. Uh, corn month. Mm-mm, I tell you what, man. Oh man, the uh, the corn isn't that just a delicious dish? Uh, you got the you got, and I like the uh, the yellow corn. When I was growing up, was always the best. You had the little uh, yellow corn plugs that you put in the end of the corn on the cob. That was always fun. It was like a little accoutrement that you normally didn't have at the dinner table. You saw those bad boys. Oh, we're having corn on the cob, and uh, you'd put those little things in there, keep your hands from being all messy, and uh, you could spin those. That was always, don't spin your corn, and you'd always spin those little things that you put in the end of the corn. Those those were great. And then, of course, white corn. And my mama loves some white corn. I do, too. But you know what I really like? I like that peaches and cream. I like a little yellow, little white man. Oh, man. Uh, slather it up with some butter, a little bit of salt. Not too much, just a little bit of salt. And, of course, the next thing you know, you're talking country, uh, country cooking month. We've had some folks on before. You know what country cooking is? Soul food. Uh, that's all it is. Uh, cucumber month. Can't stand them. Can't stand them. Um, people are like, oh, here, uh, no, pickles, yeah, cucumbers, no. And it's dairy month. There you go. How about, get, how about getting you some uh, ice cream? Better yet, get some frozen yogurt. Yum. You know, they got that Kemp's frozen yogurt on sale. Buy one, get one free. I can highly recommend the Kemp's. Darn fine frozen yogurt. First talk with Imagine a journey into the heart of North Carolina where the splendor of the wild is captured in every frame. This is North Carolina Wild, a symphonic celebration of nature's majesty. Don't miss the chance to be swept away.